she had difficulty walking and fall constantly. Um, at daycare, uh, she had so many incident reports and I diligently monitor those, but I, you know, I wouldn't expect something uh, more serious rather than just maybe a little bit setback in, in her growth process. The childcare um, teacher raised the issue with me about the fact that Zoe fell uh, quite often and I got her to the GP to try to check what happened and uh, the GP also could not see anything that wrong. I wanted to find out why it was the way it was. So I got a referral to go and see a pediatrician. And during that time, she deteriorated even faster. And that was a peak time during COVID. So I was uh, working from home. And I remember the day vividly it was on the 28th of um, September uh, 2020. She struggled to walk and I went home and I sat down in front of my desk and something telling me that it's not right. Went back to daycare, took her straight to emergency and that's where we found out. Uh, they did a, um, they scheduled her to have a, an MI and then we hear about uh, we heard about DIPG for the first time for a parent I think for me it's like a journey of hope the doctor scheduled the radiation treatment a bit shorter so we went through five weeks of radiation treatment with the hope to restore some of her function and it, it worked for her we went through that radiation treatment um, which say that I would have an, another nine to 12 months with the Zoe. How do I take that? Uh, I, I think that no one can accept the fact that, you know, you know, that you're living on a timeline, you're gonna lose your child. No one, no parents, when they hear of DIBG, no one would give up. No one would give up that hope that, you know, you could be the long-term, that your child could be long-term survival. And because of that, um, I chose, uh, you know, I get some advices and we, were, we went for traditional um, treatment like uh, acupuncture, um, Chinese herbal medicine. The most miracle thing about Zoe is that she, um, even she was only two, she accepted all of that. Actually, nine months after the uh, radiation, she started to show, um, the MI scan show that there's a little bit of growth. So we opt to go for um, a clinical trial, the only clinical trial that available at the time called ACT001. And we were on the clinical trial for 17 weeks from uh, August uh, 21 until uh, December 21. We did a, we had a GoFundMe campaign which helped us to fund for the medication because I stopped working full time and care for her on my own. It was very challenging, but financially we were supported by the community family and friends so uh, it helped us tremendously when Zoe was diagnosed we, we everything was very limited everything is about uh, screaming begging uh, negotiating uh, yeah uh, do it by yourself pretty much we have a we have a little to no support from the medical system it was a journey of 26 months. I think it's so important to share our story, share our experience. You can relate to them. You can learn from their experience. Connecting with other parents helped me to, to gain more knowledge about the disease, to navigate my way through the journey, to have that um, emotional and practical support. I am very... Uh, disappointed in the system. When a condition like DIPG is considered as um, death sentence, and we just hope that somehow more than just palliative care, can we do a bit more than that?
explore other treatment options just so that we know that that the the hospital the system did not give up on our children and there are other medical conditions that that not considered as rare so they have more attention like pharmaceutical company the hospital would invest more to improve those conditions because it affects more people that makes sense um, in in the business world but these are the children if we can we can treat um, not just DIPG, but like brain cancer, you know, we will save so many lives as well. So our children matter. Zoe, when she was a baby, she was very shy, but I always try my best to bring her out. I join mother's group, uh, get her connected with, uh, with other, um, ch other babies in the area. She's very well-spoken. She's um, uh, grown into such a beautiful girl. She is full of life. She really happy, um, positive, uh, and I've learned and grown so much with her. It was the best four years of my life.